Go. Okay, good morning. Today we will be doing exponents. I wrote that because it's a surfer thing and my brother surfs. Um, quick story about that. I would be like, I wanted to buy a surfboard from him and he's like, I'll give you the bro deal. That's what all his neighbors do, like, dude, give me a bro deal. And for, he was like, for you, it'll be literally a bro deal. <laughs> so I was like, cool. So I just wrote, brah, so exponents, brah. Just gonna hit the waves and then get a chili cheesesteak, brah. And then go take a nap. <laughs> it's my alternate life. Okay, ready for exponents. Oh. I know. Oh my god. The idea is, let's learn how to do it together, so that when you see it, you'll know how to do it for the rest of your days. What do you think? What is this? Do you know the rules? What's this? Yes, go. You add. Okay, so it's technically like you add, right? I shy away from the word add. This is, do we understand that this is a multiplication problem? Okay. As long as we understand this is a multiplication problem. This is x times x times x times x, and then six more here. Six all together. That makes x to the tenth. All right, so that's the first rule. Next. Um, right. What about that? So, again, we're going to put the quotes, unquotes. This is. Many people think of this as we subtract these two numbers, but this is not a subtraction problem, it's a division problem. So I think of it more like canceling. <coughs> think of it like canceling, like this. A one, two, three, four, five, six. A one, two, three, four. And notice, what is x over x? One. 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 A gone, 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 one, two, three, four. How many left where? Two. Two on the top. So this becomes x squared. Yes? We didn't do that. Oh, this is terrible. We didn't do that. We have to start again. We have to start again? Let's pretend we did. Okay. Hi. Welcome to Exponents, brah. <laughs> you guys are so like, just like waiting for the next moment. <laughs> really, you're like those little dogs on the dashboard of the cars. <laughs> and I always like hit the top of their head and they're like this. <laughs> I know, you know why I'm reluctant, because if I just yell it out, it's just kind of like, you know, out of nowhere, but we have to get our energy up, okay? So, ready? I'm going to do it loud, and you have to do it loud, too. There's only one chance. We're going to get a yay English as a result. Let's do it anyway, okay? So, do it loud. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to up my energy tenfold right now. Ready? Yay math! Yay math! All right, nice. Don't let me down. Good job. Thanks for the suggestion. Okay, now we're resumed to where we were. Yeah. Okay, so this is x squared. And then the next one goes like this. Oh, I'm waiting for the English. So what will this be? Qu'est-ce que tu penses? Okay, now, the answer is 1 over x squared, which is the same as x to the negative 2. And we're going to talk about this. Let's do the cancellation technique. If we're going to do the cancellation, how, are we going to, how many x's shall we write on the top? Yes? Four. Four. Good. How many x's shall six. we write here? A one, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, four cancels with four, leaving how many where? Two on the bottom. So this becomes one over x squared. Questions about this? One over x squared. OK. Now. If we were going to do, I'm standing in the way, if we we're going to do subtraction, you know, like we did over here, 6 minus 4 is 2. If we were to do that, we would get 4 minus 6, which is what? Negative 2. Right. Yeah, we have, we have visitors. So x to the negative 2. I knew it. They think they're cool. <laughs> that was like a whole to 
could do is they like I know, and make yeah. a formation. They totally like they're playing musical yeah. chairs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you guys see them in the hall and you know of people in that English class, we're like, good job. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> and then they walk away like this. No, poke your head in there and do it. No. <laughs> like, that was really good. Do a louder one. <laughs> Every time. And then they walk around like, yeah, we do yay English too. <laughs> do that. <laughs> and then like they're gonna come in with like noisemakers and like little poppy things. <laughs> Music and like bass. <laughs> yay, English, English. <laughs> And you're like, yeah, good one. <laughs> Keep that up. Like a English raid. Yeah, English raid, yeah. Shit, <laughs> Okay. We're back. X to the negative two. Does anyone know the rules for negative exponents? When you have a negative exponent, how shall we simplify it? Because I'll tell you now, negative exponents are not simplified. So this is not simplified, even though these two are equivalent. The rule is, when you have a negative exponent, you move it to the other side of the fraction and make it a positive exponent. Again, negative exponents move to the other side of a fraction, and they become a positive exponent. All right, now we're going to jump into this hardcore. Here it comes. Master of disaster. Man with the plan. Keep going. Fixture with the mixture. <laughs> Does anyone have another one? Yeah, but it's inappropriate. Uh, Thanks for holding <laughs> off. <laughs> Allow me to make the point. Allow me to make the point. Notice the numbers were picked on purpose. On porpoise, uh, what happens? What's the difference between the fraction 27 over 18 versus the exponents x to the 27 over x to the 18? Nine. Anyone? Nine. What do you say? What's nine? Well, 27 minus 18 is nine, and then for the exponent, x 27 minus x 18 is nine. So. No, you're getting there. What do you think? 9 is the greatest common factor. Okay, so 27 divided by 18 simplifies to what over what? 3 over 2. Nine. No, 3 over 2. 3 over 2, good. So, 3 and 2. So, get used to this. This is a good strategy. I like to just draw a line and get ready to fill it in. So, we have a 3 and a 2. And now, x to the 27 divided by x to the... 18 is what? Execute the root squared. No. X to the ninth. Correct. Here is a way of seeing. Yeah, we're going to say something. No. Okay. 18 x's here will cancel with 18 x's here, leaving nine. Cool. So three x to the ninth over two. Three x to the ninth over two. Oh. Questions about that? Yes. Couldn't 3x to the 9th be simplified? Simplified how? By 3? No. An exponent, it's like 3x or 3x squared. Oh. You know, they can't be simplified. 3x to the 9th is just another one. Okay. All right. Final rule. 